celebration of Pride here at City Hall. Uh, my name is Rick Cavan. I work as an aide to Mayor Gassiora, and I'm also proud to be the City of Trenton's LGBTQ liaison. Uh, so this is a very special annual event that we do, obviously, to celebrate Pride, uh, to recognize the contributions and achievements of the LGBTQ community here in Trenton and all across the country and around the world. Uh, so very excited to have you all here today. Thank you all for coming out. Um, and we'll get started with our, our mayor, Mayor Reed, uh, W. Reed Gassiora. Thanks so much, Rick. And this is just a, a great turnout today and on a sunny day. Um, we had a Pride celebration two years ago. We hope to resume that uh, shortly. And um, this, is a, this is one day to be uh, proud and uh, show the pride of, of the city. On the 28th, the uh, Delaware, the Trent Makes Bridge will be lit up in rainbows. And this is to celebrate uh, 52 years ago, the Stonewall Riots, which really started the gay rights movement. And each in increments and slowly but surely, um, uh, the LGBTQ community has come of age and come of importance. And um, uh, we're just really uh, great to have the, the turnout we are. We do have a couple of uh, celebrities here. I saw Kim Taylor from the Housing Authority. We have our friends uh, from ARC, Steve Cook. Um, and uh, uh, I see our director, Maria Richardson, is here um, from Recreation. Arch Liston, our BA, our uh, uh, Chief of Staff. I see Londa Vasquez, our, uh, in, our Chief Inspector. Um, and who am I missing? Oh, uh, George Soa from, uh, oh yeah, George Soa from Greater Trenton. Dr. Lopez, our Health and Human uh, Services. And uh, the PBA and the SOA has come out uh, from Trenton Police, our finest. I'm leaving um, uh, Trenton Downtown Association um, and uh, 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 Janine LaRue, Frisbee LaRue, LaRue is out here. So thanks so much, Patricia Hall from uh, TDA. And then we have two speakers, so they'll be able to introduce themselves. And let's count. Councilwoman Marge Carlville Wilson, otherwise known as Lady Margaret and our illustrious uh, Assemblywoman, uh, Relita Reynolds-Jackson. So, thanks so much for coming out. I'm gonna uh, delay further. Um, Mike Shreddy, our uh, president of uh, PBA, and um, Jason Woodhead, our president of the SOA. To me. All right, and waiting. All right, thanks so much, and uh, who's coming up next? Um, our illustrious Assemblywoman, Relita Reynolds-Jackson. Thanks so much. Assemblywoman Verlina Reynolds Jackson representing the 15th legislative district and especially the capital city. And it is a great honor to be to stand here with you today in celebration of our LGBTQ plus communities. And my pride is fighting for human rights and equity each and every day. That shouldn't matter your sexual orientation or your gender for us to fight for your human rights. And so I want you to know how deeply I stand in solidarity with you each and every day. Thank you, Mayor Reed Gussiora, for inviting me here. And for each of you to be here in this heat, um, it is very, very important that, again, we begin to put the names with the faces because it does become personal. And I think when we fight for each other, we understand what we're fighting for. So again, I stand with you in solidarity today. Thank you so much. And our illustrious councilwoman, Lady Margaret, <laughs> Marge Carwell Wilson. I actually told Rick that I really didn't want to speak, that I felt that it was important that the TG TGLCA members would be able to come up here and speak. But I just want you to know that I am standing here in solidarity with you and forever. And I do appreciate people showing up for this today, for this. And this is a, a big step for City Hall to, to hang the gay flag. 
and I'm very proud of him, and I'm proud of the mayor taking the time out of his day to do this. So thank you, everybody. And if you need me on the front lines, just give me a call. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. She's off to the Pride in Scotland after this. Um, and now our uh, featured speaker, um, Kaja Manuel, um, who's uh, representative of Garden State Equality. He is a member of the Trenton chapter of the NAACP. Um, but we're excited to have Kaja address us all on the importance of pride in the capital city. Good afternoon, Trenton. Yeah. My name is Kaja, my pronouns are he who is, and I'm the community organizer for Garden State Equality, and I'm also the third vice president of the Trent Branch NAACP, that's how, and I'm a Trentonian, proud Trentonian. Um, Garden State Equality is New Jersey's largest LGBTQ organization with over 150,000 members. Our services include advocacy, policy work, and training. We work to address the community's needs and respectful treatment of seniors. Beyond that, Garden State Equality supports New Jersey's activist community by bringing an LGBTQ lens to the shared struggles for justice. That was just to give you a little, a little background about us. Um, after a year of being apart, we are finally back together, visible and in person. In many ways, pride is about being visible, being seen and letting others know that you see them. It's nice to be seen and to be heard. This past year, we saw many open their eyes to racism and finally say, Black Lives Matter, leaving many to finally feel seen and heard. At Garden State Equality, uh, excuse me, at Garden State Equality, as we continue to fight for equity, both in the law and in people's daily lives, it's important to remember who we are fighting for. And while I cannot speak for the NAACP in an official capacity, what I can say is this. The executive committee members that I know and work with day in and day out believe in equality and believe in equal representation regardless of how you identify or who you love. That is why I and fellow executive committee members advocating, were advocating for the creation of the LGBT committee within the Trenton branch and NAACP. And it was necessary. Now Trenton is the only municipality in New Jersey where the local branch of the NAACP has an LGBTQ plus committee and I hope other municipalities and branches follow Trenton's lead. This past year, so many trans women of color were murdered that the average life expectancy of a BIPOC trans woman is now 35 years old. We are seeing anti-trans legislation popping up across the country, even right here in New Jersey. And so, as we gather for Pride, a celebration that would not be possible without trans women of color, people like New Jersey native Marsha P. Johnson standing up, fighting back against a system that oppressed us, we must remember that we gather not just to be visible and proud, but to also see and to hear. Those in our community we are still fighting for. So yes, a proclamation is needed. A proclamation is a declaration and an acknowledgement of solidarity. It acknowledges the hardships that the LGBTQ community has faced. It acknowledges how far we've come, and it also acknowledges the long road ahead. One thing that I wanted to highlight while I had this moment was that LGBTQ youth represent 40% of the entire homelessness, the homeless youth population. LGBTQ youth also experience some of the highest rates of bullying in school and will likely attempt suicide at least once within their lifetime. So we gather for pride to stand with those youngest in our community, to show them that we're here to support them and that in some cases they show up to support us. That is why events such as this are important. So I thank you to Rick Cabin, Mayor uh, Reed Gusciora, and to all the allies and community members who continue to fight for justice and equality every single day. Thank you for your time. Uh, stick around, um, and I want to have these ladies come up and our two directors. Um, we are going to present a proclamation. I'm not going to read it because of the heat, um, but we're declaring today Pride Day in the city of Trenton. Yeah. And, and Nina, Patricia, Marge, our directors.
thank you everybody. Now we're going to raise the flag. Hopefully Hawk is on cue. And just uh, right, right above it. Thanks everyone for coming out and be prideful every day.